for tens of thousands of patients and clients, the legal counsel's work is vital. It means that families can gain access to the essential health and medical benefits that they so desperately need. It means they can see a doctor, they can see a therapist. It means if they're struggling with their landlord, they can receive relief and make sure that their rights are protected. Uh, it means income, it means safety, it means security. It means health. And the, even though it's called the legal counsel, it's often forgotten that it's for health justice. Free legal services often are not very sexy. People are not thinking about the impact of a paralegal or an attorney as being uh, playing an instrumental role in, in justice and in, in safety net services, but nothing could be further from the truth. For the population that we serve, people living with HIV, for seniors, for vulnerable children and families, for the homeless, uh, a skilled attorney and paralegal is uh, actually part of a battalion that's in their corner. It's an essential part of their safety net. It's helping them leverage essential services that they might not receive otherwise. And to the legal uh, counsel's credit, a lot of its work is looking at patterns and finding ways that the system is conspiring against groups of people and trying to mobilize led, uh, through litigation or public policy advocacy lasting systemic solutions. One of my proudest moments as an HIV activist is thanks to the hard work of the legal counsel. I had the pleasure of joining the excellent staff at the legal counsel to fight for the rights of Medicaid beneficiaries through a very arcane process called spend down. And the state's antiquated laws had kept hundreds of thousands of individuals from accessing Medicaid because their income was just above the threshold. And this is an issue that the legal counsel identified in its HIV program, saw the enormous impact some advocacy in this area would make on helping individuals living with HIV gain access to healthcare services. And the legal counsel mounted a statewide campaign to change the law. And I was part of that process. And we prevailed and we persuaded the General Assembly to adjust the law, modernize it, increase the caps. And as a result of that, uh, thousands of people with HIV in Illinois gained access to Medicaid benefits, healthcare benefits. So it's really one of the proudest moments of my career to be part of such a, a massive and significant er area of advocacy and something that was difficult to explain, but once we got in front of lawmakers and told them that constituents in their district, widows, seniors, people with disabilities, people with HIV, were being locked out of the system, and a, an elegant reform in law would change that, we were able to galvanize support, and it made, it made a world of difference. I want to tell you about a specific story. Um, it's something that happened to me uh, shortly after starting at Matthew House. I had a client who, well, I'm not a psychiatrist uh, at all, so I can't, you know, diagnose. But he gave every indication of having paranoid schizophrenia. And um, I was able to work closely with him and gain his trust. And in getting to know him better, he shared that he had applied unsuccessfully about five times uh, in the past for uh, social security benefits and each time he applied he was denied. Now after uh, talking to him for a while I was able to get him to consider talking to the folks at legal counsel uh, to reopen his social security claim which he did and let me tell you the most amazing things began to happen to that client and they squired his case professionally through the, the, the minefield that is the Social Security Administration. And I'm happy to report that on that first try with legal counsel, he was granted full Social Security benefits and it has changed his life forever. What makes legal counsel unique? Well, I guess I'd have to say it's its reach. Legal counsel touches so much. It touches everything. So from the one individual family on the south side 
who is scraping to get by and needs some support to the entire state of Illinois um, with incredible policy change, allowing al asthma, albuterol inhalers to be carried and stocked in schools, um, expanding early intervention services across the entire state for children who have been lead exposed. It also is incredible what they do in terms of education and community outreach. I mean, personally, I have received so much education from the Legal Council in regards to advocating for my patients and um, in teaching me how to be a better pediatrician, how to be a better advocate. My experience with them has shaped my career. It will change the trajectory of my career completely. I know that my, my future life would look so different if I hadn't ever met anyone from Legal Counsel and hadn't become a part of this incredible organization. In America, um, for marginalized communities, um, we're moving towards a, a space where we are totally affirming of every person from every culture, but historically that has not always been true but some of my patients in the Inglewood community. Um, without having legal services there, I've seen uh, patients kind of give up, uh, feel like there is no way out of the situation. And when you're talking about, say, a person that may be living with HIV, that's stigma on top of stigma on top of stigma. And so there are layers. And imagine being that person before you stand up and say, hey, I have a right to be treated as a human. I have a right to social justice. I have a right to legal justice, financial justice, education justice, all these justices that we have, um, that we think about when we say everybody has a right to life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. We talk about those things, but it hasn't always been true for some of the people I serve in some of the communities in America. Um, before a legal counsel, I've seen them, like I said, just say, hey, this is my life, and that was the reality that they were living in. It sounds horrible that someone's living in that reality. Um, and then with legal counsel, I've seen myself be able to say, hey, here are services. And you don't have to come, say, downtown, Northside, other places um, that are outside of your community to access them. Legal counsel put the services in the communities we serve, in the communities that need them, um, in a culturally appropriate way, and I'm very thankful for that. I went to legal counsel because my daughter Gwendolyn, who's now 16, she was having trouble in school. She wasn't going, she missed like almost half the year, more than half the year, and it was due to depression. February of that year, she ended up having to go to court with my older daughter um, because my uncle molested her at the age of two. She outcried and nothing came of it. Uh, my oldest daughter, Kiara, I found out later that it happened to her as well. And they both had to go to court to testify against him. So this took a very, very hard strain on Gwen. And at the time I didn't know how hard it was on her. So she ended up just basically almost dropping out of school. I'm just so grateful for legal counsel um, that they came into our lives when they did because they offered opportunities that we had no idea was even available to us. Um, I didn't know that um, the school was obligated obligated to do the things that um, we found out they were supposed to be doing for her. The difference legal counsel has made in my life is dramatic. Um, I feel proud as a mom. Um, my baby is going to school and that just feels great. And her GPA came up and She's smiling, I'm smiling, I'm proud, she's proud, and she will be the first to graduate high school out of all three of my children, but I raised five, so out of all five of them, she'll be the first. It's Legal Counsel's 30th anniversary. We started 30 years ago, literally in the apartment of James Monroe Smith, an attorney 
who um, realized that his friends, his colleagues, were dying of HIV and AIDS, and there was no one there to help them with the legal issues they had. He stepped in, he created this organization, AIDS Legal Counsel, that's become Legal Counsel for Health Justice. And over the last 30 years, we've continued to grow, we've continued to provide legal services um, to people with HIV and AIDS, and then more recently, we've expanded it to populations with other chronic health care conditions, including children, including people with severe mental illness, who are homeless, and seniors. Our work has had a broader impact. In fact, three years ago, when the state um, had a budget impasse that lasted for two years, we were able to go to court at that time and ensure that Medicaid payments would continue. That covered health care for 3.2 million Illinoisans. Um, and that continued through the end of the state budget impasse. At the end of the impasse, um, our insistence that Medicaid payments continue was the catalyst to bring the parties together to finally come up with a final budget and end the impasse. It's work like that um, that makes the legal counsel so important. We've been able to take issues of individual clients and then see that they affect a much broader population and then use the skills that we have to go out and find fixes that not only benefit our clients but benefit thousands, hundreds of thousands, and sometimes millions of other people in the same situation. To me, that's one of the things that makes legal counsel and our work so special, so critical um, for the future of Illinois and this country. I'd like to begin with my name. My name is Leon Lieberman. And uh, about 16 or 17 years ago, I was diagnosed with HIV. It was a very confusing and even frightening time. The social worker at St. Joseph Hospital, where I had gone for treatment, suggested that I call Ann Fisher, who was then director of the legal counsel. And she told him, while I was there with him, send him right over, I'll pay his bus fare. And that was my introduction to 16 or 17 years of dependency on them. Everyone who comes to the council, regardless of their reason for coming, knows that immediately there's care and you matter. The council has helped me in many ways. There are times, frankly, when I don't understand why they put up with me. I uh, have a question, it's answered. They're so incredibly knowledgeable and primarily, they help me to help myself. There isn't anything they won't do to accommodate, whether it's with public aid or housing. Um, they're incredibly well connected. And there are some times when I'm amazed because I think there's a problem that cannot be resolved. Um, and they both resolve it themselves or they equip me to resolve it. What they do has enabled me to be treated to manage by myself, for myself, and frankly, I don't know how I could possibly do it without knowing that the legal counsel is on my side. I, uh, I can't tell you really how uh, grateful I am 
and how much I've been affected by what the legal counsel does. Everything has changed for the better. My name is David Ernesto Munar, and healthcare justice is social justice. My name is Ben Handy, and I'm proud to be in this struggle to end homelessness. My name is Dr. Nicole Hamp, and my life's mission is to advocate for the health of children. My name is Maya Green, and legal counsel is a beautiful voice for community wellness. My name is Lynette Campbell Stowers, and legal counsel saved my daughter's life. My name is Tom Yates, and I'm proud to be fighting for health justice. My name is Leon Lieberman, and legal counsel has always been there for me.